Are you training according to FTP? Is your performance stagnating? Or do you know someone whose is? In this video, we'll explain the problems of training according to FTP. FTP stands for Functional Threshold Power. It describes the performance that can be sustained during 60 minutes of maximum workload. The FTP does not correspond to the individual anaerobic threshold. This is Lucky. He has an FTP of 250 watts. This is Luke. He has the same weight as Lucky and also has an FTP of 250 watts. The two of them have been training according to the same training plan for six months. Luke's FTP has dropped by 2%. Oh. Lucky's, on the other hand, has increased by 6%. Training according to FTP is a gamble. Some win, others lose. But how come? The energy supply consists of an aerobic and an anaerobic part. The ratio between aerobic and anaerobic part varies from athlete to athlete. The value determined from the FTP test does not allow any conclusions about the individual metabolism to be drawn. So Lucky and Luke, although they have the same FTP, have different training zones. Luke's base zone is 75% of his FTP, whereas Lucky's base zone is 68% of his FTP. The examples of Lucky and Luke show that training planning based on FTP is unreliable. Hitting the right training zones becomes a game of chance. After six months of training, Lucky's performance development has also stagnated. Due to the physiological adaptations, his training zones have changed. Despite the current FTP test, the training zones no longer fit for him either. You can find out how to solve this problem in the next video.